right. Well, our pets are such an important part of our family, and you want to leave them in the care of someone that you can really trust. It's important. And mm -hmm. here to share how to find the perfect pet sitter is Laura Nativo, and welcome back home, Laura. Thank Hi, you. Laura. It's so good to be here with you all. Why? Okay, I, I told you this at the top. I, I did the boarding thing. Mm -hmm. Didn't like it so much. But but what? why would you prefer and you'd recommend getting a sitter versus boarding, even though that well, there's some really good ones? I love pet sitters because it allows your pet to to stay in their routine. And so whatever their sleeping habits are, their exercise, you know that they're in the care of somebody that they know and trust. And as a matter of fact, I leave my dogs with pet sitters and you may be familiar with one. So I've got a picture to show you of my pet's favorite sitter. It's Shirley! Oh! In fact, Penelope's with her right now, and all of my, my dogs have their own person. So I think it's really Aww. important that they have someone that they trust and develop a bond with so they feel safe and you can rest assured that you're not like stressing when you're gone. Wait, wait, they each have their own person? Like five different people come in and. <laughs> well, no! <laughs> Preston stays with my sister, Penelope okay. stays with Shirley, Winston stays with Jessica, and Delilah stays with Summer. Wow! Well, wow. That's a lot of phone calls to check yeah. in. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, how do you find, though, those are Obviously, yeah. people who are family members, but what if you don't have that resource? Or how do, how do you find a reliable sitter, I guess? So just like if you were looking for a sitter for your kids, you want to use referrals. So go to your friends, go to your neighbors, your veterinarian, your local dog trainer, and ask them for referrals. Ask them who they know, who mm -hmm. they trust. And there's actually a really great new website. It's called Dog Vacay, and I'm a huge Cute. fan because it's a website, it's an app, and it allows you to search for local pet sitters all around the country. They have reviews, and the best part of all they're insured and bonded so you can trust that oh, in case like anything that. happens you know that these people sure. are going to take the best care and also you can do meet and greets before so you make sure that they're the right fit for your pet well we actually have a clip from dog vacay so let's take a look at that right now let's see meet jane jane just booked a family vacation but her dog spot isn't coming normally jane puts spot in a kennel with hundreds of other dogs stuck in cages now there's a better choice, and it's Puppy Paradise. Board your dog in the home of an experienced and insured dog lover with DogVacay.com. A safe environment with a responsible host? Check. Love and individual attention? Check. Rates that won't add up to more than your vacation? Check. Create an account on DogVacay.com and enter information about your dog. Browse hundreds of real homes to board your dog. Select your favorite based on the place, the owner, and the family dogs. If you have any questions, email away. After you've selected the perfect place, make a reservation just like a hotel. DogVacay.com holds your payment until after you've dropped off your dog. Now go on vacation and relax. Visit DogVacay.com to find a trusted and insured pet sitter near you. That is genius. I so love good. that. Great. Is this That's a great. nationwide program? It is nationwide, yeah. So if you're traveling and, you know, say you're, you're going back home to visit the family, mm -hmm. you can find somebody in your local neighborhood. All right, questions though, when you are looking for a sitter. Mm -hmm. yeah. What are the questions you yeah. want to be asking? There's so many things you want to ask. So I think the first thing, first and foremost, is you want to ask if they are insured. The other things I look for, I want to know if they've studied animal behavior, if they're pet CPR mm. certified. So in case of emergency, do they know what to do? Right. Um, I want to ask for referrals. Can they give me phone numbers to some of their other clients so that I can ask sure. some questions? Um, and then I think one of the most important things is doing a meet and greet, spending time with that person so that when you drop off your pet, they feel comfortable and maybe go for a hike before or have coffee or tea so that your pet spends time with them and they don't feel like they've just been dumped with some strangers. So right. it's really important to establish a relationship because they're going to be become a second family to your pet. Yeah. Now, is this only for dogs? I have two dogs, three cats. Dog Vacay is marketed towards dogs, but they do have an option on the website where you can ask about other services. So they, you can find out if they'll care for your other animals. They might take in the mail. They may do things like oh. play dates or yeah. exercise. And you should talk to a pet sitter because they do often offer these other services and cats are part of the family too so it's just as important that your kitty feels comfortable with whoever's watching them. 